Okay, so we've done perimeters and circumferences, which is the straight distance around a figure. Today we're going to do area. And area is the non-overlapping square units needed to cover a figure. And I spelled figure wrong. I always do. Now, so when I look at these, when we use these grids, this graphing grid, it makes it real easy. Okay, but I'm going to teach you the formula right down here. And then we can double check. So the area of a, of a rectangle or parallelogram, area equals BH, base times the height. If there's nothing in between it, remember, we're multiplying. So in this case, on this one, my base is 3. See, 1, 2, 3. And my height is 1, 2, 3, and 3. So I'm going to plug that into my formula. So A equals 3 times 3 and that 3 times 3 is 9. So then I'm going to double check it by counting the square units inside. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, they're the same. Math is true. Woohoo! Alright. Now on this one, it's a little different, a little bit longer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is my base. And my height is still 1, 2, 3. So I know that area equals base, which is 7, times height, which is 3. And that's 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. Makes it real easy, doesn't it? Okay. Now, parallelograms still use this formula, base times height. But you might think, is the height going this way? So do I fit, do I measure how long this is? Because I can't just use my graph because the diagonal it's, it's more than two or three. So here's what I do. My length is this straight line that's going right here, or my base. One, two, three, four, five, six. And my height is the distance between these two parallel lines right here. Who can tell me what my height's going to be on this one? What's my height going to be? Fernando. Three. Three, yeah. Because there's three units in there. So my... Area equals 6 times 3, and that's 18. Okay. Now the last one. Since this is slanted, I'm going to have to kind of move, change it, since these ones are the ones that are going diagonal. So I'm going to count up the straight, one, the straight line on the side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I'm going to count the distance between these two straight parallel lines. That's going to be my base. So what's my base on this one? What's it going to be? Four. Four, yeah. So my area equals my base times my height equals 24. See how they're in squares? That's why we call them squared units. So like area, this would be nine square inches, if I was doing this in inches. 21 squared inches. 18 squared inches. And 24 squared inches. All right? Because it's not just going in one direction. The square inch goes in two directions. Right, so you may have seen this formula before with squares and rectangles. It's the same with parallelograms. We just have to know exactly where to take the measurement on that parallelogram. All right.